In 2008, I curated a, an exhibition that uh, was called Italics, and this show was uh, 40 years of Italian art, started from 1968 to 2008. So I started thinking that maybe today uh, would be interesting to do a similar exhibition, but transform it into an auction. I call it a great wonderful, I mean, a little bit playing with the idea of uh, you know, Italy is a cradle of beauty. The uh, Italian art is not only beautiful or related to beauty, but it's related to strength and wonder. So I thought to invent this term, the great wonderful. A few names that I'm sure will be a surprise for the American audience. There is a photographer, uh, Franco V. Mercati, was a Milanese photographer, photographing only daily object from, from a soup bowl to a cheese grater and, and giving this almost uh, abstract uh, aspect. Then we have uh, uh, an artist that I even didn't know is existent. His name is Jack Clemente and they are this kind of uh, materic uh, uh, works made of canvas and ropes and uh, we have a sculpture from 1964 uh, mobile in la valle, furniture in the valley, in pine wood, furniture very rough but beautiful, it's like a metaphysical environment. We have this uh, the more than three meter size uh, Giacomo Manzu Cardinal, one of his most iconic uh, work of his production and it's huge, it's also abstract and in this location it looks extremely powerful. We have also and the show a beautiful Morandi that is almost like the idea of, of object fearing and, and trying, fearing something and trying to convey in one point to defend themselves into the space of the canvas. Uh, Domenico Gnoli is one of this kind of uh, iconic figure in Italian art, He's, he died very young. It's uh, abstract, it's Italian, it's, it's about matter, you see the matter of the, uh, the painting. Uh, very strong, it's simple, it's, uh, it's elegant. I believe it is, is a perfect icon of what Italy is and Italian art has been.